scoring 4 1 San Diego. Then in the fifth, bases loaded. Mike Piazza, single to center off Andy Bennis. Two run score, 4 3 Padres. Dodgers would tie it on a Karos RBI single. In the seventh, 4 4. Tony Gwynn at the plate. Here it comes. There it goes. Gwynn, not known for his power, deep off of Astacio, fifth homer of the year for Tony, 5 4 Padres. Bottom eight, 5 4 Pods. Brian Williams on, trying to hold the lead. Bases loaded. Ball four to Billy Ashley. Piazza forced in. We're tied at five. To the ninth we go for the dramatic finish. Still tied at five. Trevor Hoffman on the mound. Here it comes. There it goes. To the opposite field. Mike Piazza. Hitting the first pitch over the railing, three run shot. Good night, game over, drive home safely. Piazza's 12th of the year. Dodgers win at 8-5. Six straight wins for LA. They take it. Not in this game. Tim Laker swinging a miss. Tony Tarasco back in Atlanta. Thinks he's Jerry Tarkanian. In the third, no score. Gil Heredia and Tarasco on base. Will Cordero with a drive. Double off the wall. Drive it in two. So it's 2 nothing Montreal. Same inning. Honors at the corners. Moise Salou. Grounder up the middle. Rafael Belliard stops it but has no play. Cordero scores three zip expos. Bottom of the fourth. Former expo. Marquise Grissom on at second. A shot by Fred McGriff. Down the right field line Grissom scoring it's a 3-1 game now to the bottom of the fifth Ryan Klesko leadoff homer off of Heredia his seventh all of them have come in June Expo lead cut to 3-2 bottom of the sixth and the Griff on at second Luis Aquino pitching and David Justice sends it high and deep and aloha means goodbye. Two-run shot. Braves come back to win at 4-3. The Braves have now won three in a row. Tom Glavin goes seven innings for the W. He survived that shaky three-run third. Top of one. Facing Garrett Anderson. Gets him with the high cheese and does a little Carlos Perez routine. Bottom of two, one all game. Luis Soho leading off with a left field blast off of Brian Anderson and we have King Dome fireworks but we need to be gentle it's a it's a fragile stadium bottom of three two on Tino Martinez and this time it's a homer to right field Mariners would take the lead five to one at that juncture and then in the bottom of five five two another Martinez Edgar Martinez the other field we are equal opportunity home run providers field wise left right and elsewhere leads the AL with 50 RBI and then Jim Edmonds gets nothing and has to like it as the Mariners hang on to win it seven to three Solomon Torres now with two wins in the last year two runs over six and two thirds he struck out five Jim Edmonds extends his hit streak to 20 games the longest in the AL this season Texas a game out in the West hosting Oakland hit it here win a new suit never understood that as if the players can't afford a suit of their own let's get the fans a new suit that is Mark McLemore didn't quite hit it there but he did hit it far enough to the nothing Rangers let's try it again hit it here will Clark just a little bit to the left and he wins himself a field of grass three to nothing Rangers lead and so we go to top of nine three two one out for Brent Gates hits the double play ball to second base but umpire Tim Cheetah says that Will Clark is taking his foot off of the bag he's safe that would be an important play runners now at first and third two outs for Craig Paquette he knocks the base hit down the line against the wall Terry Steinbach scores three all next batter Ricky Henderson soft grounder to short but Benji Gill picks it up and throws it right in the mud Clark can't scoop it and that would be the decisive play 4 three the final A's the home run from Will Clark his first in 21 games Dennis Eckersley picking up his 15th save by the way former Ranger aces Nolan Ryan and Fergie Jenkins were named honorary captains of the upcoming All Star game Indians trying to break the four game slide at KC top of one Tom Gordon against Carlos Baerga down the line and watch John Nunnally inexplicably just takes his glove off tries to barehand the thing and then he boots it we have tried to figure out why he did that and we may be trying to figure it out for a long time the Indians had a little bit better luck in the field Gary Gaetti will pop it up and I fly not only is he into his own leather but he is into that guy's leather too into the crowd great catch still one nothing Kenny Lofton up now the single Jim Tomey comes around to score but Kenny Lofton at first base will pull up with a hamstring problem in his left leg he would have to leave the game Chad OJ meanwhile on his game taking on Vince Coleman righty against lefty and Vince would go to his room but then in the seventh Tom Goodwin this way when we played him. 
Lines it right back at OJ. He goes down hard, thinks about getting up, but instead stays down, clutching his ribs. He would walk off under his own power, and the Indians would hold on to win it two to love. Chad OJ combining with three of his mates on the. Gonzalez at the plate. He delivers. Single up the middle. Biggio and Bagwell score two zip Astros. Next batter, Tony Eusebio. Batting 516 in his career against the Cards RBI double, scoring Gonzalez three zip. Two batters later, Orlando Miller with a three run shot to left. Six nothing Houston. 0 2 pitch. Derek Bell at the plate in the second. Double steal. Biggio and Bagwell both move up. And that move pays off because Bell follows with a looper to center field. Biggio and Bagwell scoring eight zip Astros. And then Orlando Miller again. Two run single. That made a 10 zip. The final 11 to nothing Astros. Orlando Miller, a career high five RBIs. The Astros have scored 30 runs over their last two games. Greg Swindell wins his third straight, tossing on. Then Travis Fryman. Strike three called. Smoke for Juan Samuel. No score in the third. That is Bernie Williams on at first. Randy Velarde delivering. That's a double to left. Bernie scoring all the way from first. One nothing Yanks. It was three nothing Yankees in the sixth. Two men aboard. Wade Boggs at the plate. Up the middle. Single to center. Velarde scores. Luis Polonia. Good speed. Hustles and he kicks the ball away at third. He's safe. Rough night for Felipe Lira on the mound as the Yankees go on to win it by a final of 7-3. The Bronx Bombers have won a season high five straight games. Andy Pettit went seven scoreless innings for the win. Randy Velarde three for three. Wade Boggs also had three hits. The last place Blue Jays and first place Red Sox. Here it comes. There it goes. Tim Nairing in the second taking Al Leiter deep solo shot. One to nothing Red Sox. To the eighth we go. Sox up three zip two on for Toronto. Eric Hansen facing Joe Carter. Swinging strikeout. Ends the threat and the inning. And Hansen gets some high fives. In the ninth, two on again for Toronto. Hansen leaving after eight shutout innings. Stan Belinda. Stan the man? I'm afraid not. Mike Huff with a single down the left field line. Two runs score. And we are tied at three. In the ninth, Mike Greenwell, aggressive on the bases, steals second to get into scoring position. That would be huge. Luis Alisea, a single to left. Candy Maldonado, who had just moved from right to left. The throw to Rose Z. Greenwell scores. Good night. Game over. Drive home safely. The Sox win at 4 3. Toronto has now lost seven in a row as the Red Sox up there leading the East to five. A rocket to second base, but Schwan Dunstan gets hammered on the relay, but still converts the 4-6 to 3. Nice D. Top of four. Bucks break it open. Carlos Garcia trying to extend his hit streak to 20 games. He does, and then some. Two-run homer straight away center field. 5-1 to one Bucks lead, but in the eighth, the Cubs mount a comeback. Bases loaded. Brian McRae, base knock back up the middle. Knocks in Dunstan. Knocks in Ozzie Timmons. Cubs down just one, 7-6, and then two batters later. Bases loaded up for Mark Grace, and he comes through with a big dribbling ground ball to third base across the diamond end of game. And oh my God, the sun is descending on the earth. No, it's okay. Bucks win it eight to six. Carlos Garcia had three hits. The hit streak now at 20 games. Mark Paris went five and two thirds to pick up his first major league win. Steve Traxel now one and 11 all time at Wrigley Field. Mets and Marlins fighting the NL East anti-race. Top of one, Bobby Bonilla facing Pat Rapp. Bobby's been in a slump, but he's not anymore. Two run shot, two nothing Mets. Bobby goes three for four, two home runs. Top of six, three, two Mets. Bobby Jones, clearly a strike, but Larry Vanover calls it a ball, and the next batter, they cash in. Jeff Conine, two run blast over the Teal Monster, his 11th, four to three Marlins, and Jones is still stewing about the calls in the sixth. A little jawing with Van Over, and Bobby gets warned and has to be separated from the ump by Bobby Bow. Good choice of defender, and Jones would never be the same. Still in the sixth, Charles Johnson with the Jones. Two run shot again over the monster. They would score five in the inning, and they would win it by a final of nine to four. The Mets now one and 26 when they trail after eight surpassed only by the Marlins, who are 0-27 in that scenario. Marlins win for just the seventh time at home this year.
Playing against the Brewers, this time getting much further. Daryl Hamilton, Hamilton gone with the curve, and then Moyer taking on Pat Listash, and this time it's the changeup, and he goes to his room, goes through five and two-thirds with a no-hitter, and he got the defensive help as well. Manny Alexander, radar range to his left, spins, gets up, throws out Hamilton at first, good glove. Top of five now, one nothing O's. Kevin Bass singles into right center. Cal Ripken was on second with a double. He comes around to score, and the Orioles win it two to nil. Jamie Moyer gives up just two hits over seven and a third. Not bad for a guy who's only a spot starter. B.J. Surhoff, by the way, got caught stealing in the second. The first time in more than a month a Brewers runner has been thrown out while stealing. White Sox looking for four straight against the Twins. Top of five tied at one, Frank Thomas. He is big, and that is hurt, and that is a big hurt. Tim Raines aboard. White Sox lead at three to one, then top of seven. Eddie Guardado pitching four to one, and Thomas has done it again. Yeah. Two swings and two trips around. Rain scores again. Six to one Sox. Bottom of seven now. Two men on. Kirby Puckett. Two men aboard. That makes for a three-run shot. Knobloch and Becker score. Six to four. White Sox still lead. Bottom of nine. Roberto Hernandez on to close the door. And he does exactly that with the heat. And the White Sox hang on to win at six to five. The rookie Brian Kaiser picks up his first major league win as the Sox extend a season.